Hi, I'm Greg Grunberg, actor, epilepsy advocate, father of a young adult with epilepsy. I'd like to take the next couple of minutes to talk to you about sleep and epilepsy. We spend about one third of our life asleep, but this isn't wasted time. While you're asleep, your body recovers from the wear and tear of daily life. Research shows that sleep is essential for our physical and emotional health, as well as other areas of wellness. Sleep is important for everyone, but especially for people living with epilepsy. Sleep deprivation is a common trigger for seizures. When a person doesn't get enough sleep or has poor quality of sleep, they may be more likely to have a seizure. Some types of epilepsy may happen only during sleep or when falling asleep or waking up. These may be called sleep-related epilepsies. After a seizure, you may feel tired or sleep more. Also, some seizure medications affect sleep. Some may make people sleepy during the day and others may cause problems falling or staying asleep. So it's important to talk to your healthcare provider about medication side effects, how they are affecting your sleep and other treatment options. If you're a caregiver for someone living with epilepsy, it is very important that you make healthy sleep a priority for yourself too. Improving your sleep can have other benefits as well. Lower stress and better emotional health, improved immunity or the ability of the body to fight off infections, sharper attention and better performance at work or school. So, how much sleep do you need to get these benefits? Everyone has different sleep needs, but the National Sleep Foundation has recommendations based on your age. For example, school-aged children should sleep 9 to 11 hours each night, but young adults should sleep 7 to 9 hours each night. Trouble sleeping is a common problem, but don't worry, there are many steps you can take to improve your sleep. Keep a consistent sleep schedule. Go to sleep and wake up at around the same time each day. Short naps that are part of your daily routine can be helpful, but if you're having trouble sleeping at night, try to avoid naps. Wind down time. Create a peaceful routine to end your day. Stop working or looking at screens at least 30 minutes before bed. Try more relaxing activities such as reading, a warm shower, or meditation instead. Create a sleep-friendly environment. Keep the bedroom dark, quiet, and cool for the best sleep. Use fans or humidifiers to create soothing white noise. Use a comfortable mattress and pillow. Be mindful of other lifestyle factors. Get plenty of exercise during the day, but avoid high-intensity activity two hours before bed. Avoid eating right before bedtime. Avoid alcohol and stimulants like caffeine in the evening. Sometimes you can do all of the above and still have trouble sleeping. If that's the case, make sure to talk to your healthcare team. They can help you figure out what's causing your sleep problems and how to improve your sleep. There are many things in our health journey that we cannot control. Prioritizing sleep and other self-management strategies can make a huge difference in our overall health and wellness. Contact the Epilepsy Foundation for more information on sleep and epilepsy. Your wellness is vital. Take each tip one step at a time and remember you can do it.